Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on how to do matrix addition on a Casio Classwiz FX991EX. We're going to look at adding with matrices as well as subtracting in this video and we've got the following question to start. For the matrices A, B and C find and then we've got A is A plus B, part B is C minus A and part C is B plus C and there is a part D as well that we'll deal with a little bit later but let's just concentrate on these first. Now we're going to choose matrix mode from the menu that's option four and we've got to start off here by defining a matrix so let's just start off with matrix A so press one and then we're prompted for the number of rows and the number of columns well all three matrices that we're using in this question are two by two matrices. So it's two rows and two columns. And you can see that we've got the entry template set up for us here. So let's just input matrix A. So it's zero, two, four, zero. And once we're at the point where we've entered matrix A, what we want to do is to press option. And we'll be pressing option quite a few times in this video and we want to define the other matrices that we have so one here for define matrix and this time we're going to select two for matrix b and once again it's two rows and two columns and again we just need to write in matrix b in here one one negative two and zero option once more define matrix and let's define our final matrix matrix c two rows two columns and then we're inputting the figures from there, zero, three, eight, and negative six. Okay, so once we're done defining the three matrices we have, we can then actually do the calculations that we have. Once again, if you press option, and then we want to select three for matrix calc. So this will enable us to do calculations with the matrices we've just entered. And once again, it's option. And you can see that from three to six, we've got the option of working with any of the matrices that we've inputted. We've not used matrix D just yet, but part A of the question asks us to do A plus B. So we're going to start off with matrix A. So that's three and then plus and then option and then four for matrix B. Press equals and then we've got those two added together. So A plus B is going to give us one, three, two, zero. Okay, let's do part B, C minus A. So it's option five for matrix C, subtract and then option and then three for matrix A equals and here we have our answer. And then once more for the final bit there, option and then four for matrix B and then plus option and then five for matrix C and that adds matrix B and C together. So there we go, pretty straightforward to do the calculations once we've defined the matrices that we have. Let's have a look at part D of this same question. So this will still be using A and B from the first part of the question, but then we've got matrix M as well involved here. So a matrix M equals, and then we've got five X, Y, six. So there's two missing values in there. And we have to find the values of X and Y if A plus M equals 5, 5, 2, 6. What we're going to do is this matrix that we have here that is the result of A plus M, 5, 5, 2, 6, we're going to assign that as matrix D so that we can work with it. So if you press option and one define matrix, we've got a spare matrix here, matrix D, four, it's two rows and two columns again. And so if we input this answer, if you like, 5526 from A plus M, and we'll call that matrix D, this will help us to work backwards to find out what matrix M is. So if A plus M equals D, then D minus A will equal M, and we'll be able to find out what the missing values of X and Y are. So if we put in the calculation, matrix D, so option six, subtract matrix A, so option three. And then this answer that we have here, matrix answer, will be matrix M. You can see that we've got five and six in the top left and the bottom right. Therefore, the missing values X and Y are three and negative two. 
And then for part two of D, we've got to find M minus B. Well, what we're going to do is make use of the matrix answer that we've got here. Currently, what's stored in the matrix answer, which will change each time we produce the answer for a calculation. Well, we've still got matrix M in there. Matrix answer equals matrix M at the moment. So if we do matrix answer minus matrix B, we'll get the answer to part two. Now, all you need to do at this point is just press subtract and it should automatically bring up matrix answer minus, and then we want to input matrix B in here, option four, matrix B, press equals, and here we have our answer to M minus B, 4206. So very useful to use matrix answer there. Just be careful, it's a little bit like ants, the ants feature in calc mode, it does change each time you produce results. So be careful when you're using that, that you've got the right information in that answer feature when you're using it. Okay, so a second question here for you to have a go at yourselves. This time they are three by three matrices, so a little bit more to input. If you want to have a go, pause the video here. I'll leave it with you to see if you can input these and do the calculations yourself, but I'll come back with the answers in just a moment. A little tip might be to come out of matrix mode and then go back in to reset the matrices. And remember that you're after a three by three, three rows and three columns for these matrices. So pause the video here and I'll be back with the answers in just a moment. Okay, we're back and let's just have a look at inputting these. I'll take you through inputting matrix A quickly and then I'll speed it up for B and C. You just make sure you've taken your time to input those correctly. So from the menu, matrix, define matrix, and then matrix A, so we'll select that. Three by three this time, three rows, three columns, and just need to carefully input the figures into matrix A. Again, I've sped this up a little bit here. And then once you're done, option, and then one to define matrix and do the other two. And once again, I've sped this up quite quickly here uh, just to get through these and get us to the answers. So once your matrices are defined, it's option and matrix calc. And then the first one we've got is A plus C. So it's option three matrix A plus option five matrix C, press equals. We've got A plus C as our answer here. So just check that off. B is B minus C. So it's option four for matrix B minus option five for matrix C equals. And we've got our answer. And finally, we're adding all three matrices together, A plus B plus C, and this is gonna be our solution to that one. So there we go, how we can do matrix addition and indeed subtraction on a Casio Classwiz FX991EX. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.